This is the area we're going after next, right here. The property is completely cleared from the road to almost halfway back. But I've still got a lot of trucks in the bush. And uh, we're going to get these guys out and mow all that down and make it look like this. Real nice to see all these guys without weeds around them and everything. Still got to do uh, this right here. I did a few weeks ago. I just need to touch it up. But this part back here, got to get the trucks out. Like I've said in the last few videos, I'm getting ready to do. Uh, oh, and I have the truck inspector general with me today. Uh, she's going with us. Like I've been telling my viewers for a few weeks now, we're going to get ready to have a huge classic truck sale out here. I'm reprioritizing. I want to get to work on, uh, well, I'll show you. Anyway, got a lot of trucks I'm getting ready to put up for sale. Some of them are already sold, but uh, we'll do a complete inventory as soon as I get that last part cleaned up. And then... We'll thin the herd. Wanted to show you this real quick. It's been a long time since it's looked that good out there. truck rescue <laughs> got the truck inspector general with me today I've been working real hard on the property for about the last month cleaning it up getting ready to have a huge inventory reduction sale so I can focus on my building I got the building site cleaned yesterday and it was a big job uh, today I want to take a break and uh, I found a couple of cool old buses and that's what I really love doing is looking for the old stuff. Stay close, sweetie. And, uh, but these are real neat old buses. And we're going to go look at them today just for like a little field trip. I just thought it'd be cool if we just went out, jumped in, go for, took the truck inspector general with us and go check out a couple of really cool old buses. I think you're going to like them. We're going to look at a 1952 Studebaker short bus and a big bus, a 1952 GMC with a Detroit diesel in it. Should be pretty cool. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, sweet. So, uh, 52, 52, Joe, yep. 52 GMC bus, uh, what can you tell me uh, about it right off hand? Well, originally Joe? it was a Greyhound that oper operated between... Do you mind being on camera? I'd rather not be. Okay, gotcha. Is uh, your voice okay, though? Yep. All right. Uh, What's that say up on top, Joe? You know, I think it says Ellison Transportation. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to let you narrate. Yeah, so it, as far as Anna, I, come on. I know... It operated under Greyhound's auspice uh, between Spokane or Wenatchee and Seattle. Yeah. At which point, uh, a, a green tortoise, I'm not entirely sure what that is, they picked it up. It's, it was some hippie group that ran it from Seattle to San Francisco. Oh, and, so this thing's seen some, and then, uh, seen some things, hasn't it? Was hasn't purchased it? by some church, which I couldn't tell you who. Yeah. Um, they ran it for a while, did some engine work on it. And, Sold it to him. He was gonna turn it into a motorhome. And... All right. So you're saying it's got a Detroit diesel in it? Yes, sir. 1952 GMC. Oh, I wonder how hard. I bet that was a. Do you know what that used to be there? Was it a GMC emblem or was it just a grill? That right there. Yeah. That was the uh, rollers for the uh, locations that it was going to. Oh, so, how uh, cool! So there, there's still locations on there. It's just unfortunately. Oh yeah, it's still in there. <laughs> 
That's I neat. As a kid. So, was it running when you were a kid? Yeah, so when he purchased it, uh, he, he 77 parked it out at my parents' place. Yeah. Um, and then they, they started kind of half in on tearing stuff out. And, and they were going to make a motor home out of yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, my parents split in the 90s. Oh, I'm sorry to hear the 90s, that. And so he drove it over here and parked it. That's and it's been here ever yeah, since. Yeah. Last registered in 1978 here in Oregon. Yeah. And uh, you got a clear title on it, oh, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Kind of weird seeing a title from that year, like an original title. I've got a bunch of them. Trust me. There's some of them are weird too. They're as big as this piece of paper, yeah, yeah. you know. But it's the legit. Okay, so um, you were saying somebody had rebuilt the engine. They'd, uh, he doesn't know exactly oh. what motor work was done to it. Okay. But they, they had done a bunch of it uh, before he purchased it, but he never got any of the receipts off. Of Is that flat glass on that windshield? No. Who? I would think somebody could make that though. It's not too sharply curved. Right. My siblings were the ones that took out the windows. No, oh, no. <laughs> not good. No. Oh, that curved glass is broken too. Mm. Annabella! Come on, get over here and inspect this bus. Come on. We got little uh, stickers made up for her recently Truck Inspector Generals, and it shows her with her paws up and growling. And uh, if I can get in there somehow, yeah, yeah. you'll see, she she will go nuts. You oh, is that the door right yeah, there? Yeah. Wow. All right, well, watch her. <laughs> watch her. I don't know if you should go in there. This has been here a while, honey. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no raccoons. We don't want that. Well, it is gutted, isn't it? Greyhound bus. Your operator, safe, reliable, and courteous. Wow, it is a, a trip. That's original paint on the interior there too. Well. <clears throat> I guess I, the floor is gonna need replacing. Uh. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's got a lot of rust on it, does it? Looks pretty solid around all these interior window frames. The back glass is curved, and from what I can see here, it doesn't look broken, but we'll take a closer look at it when we get out there. Uh, huh. Oh, there's the little divider thing that goes up here for the driver. Let's get a look at these gauges. Annabelle is doing her job. Yeah, no fear of that one. Okay, so uh, we've been a while since anyone read those gauges. This thing has the same gauges as a uh, 52 GMC pickup truck. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the same style. 61,638. I'm going to assume that's been flipped at least once. Still got the fan motors. Engine control. Still got all of its switches and controls and gauges and everything. So that's a good thing. GM General Motors Coach. Built by GMC Truck and Coach Division, General Motors Corporation, Pontiac, Michigan, USA. And the type is a PD4103 and coach number is PD4103-1175. It's got a lot of this uh, trim stuff that's kind of specific to the truck. I wouldn't think that the interior would matter much because I think that anyone that buys this would want to make some kind of a cool little motor home out of it or something. And as long as the truck part of it's sound, then I would think that it would be worth it. Yeah. All right. Joe's in kind of a hurry. He's got a busy schedule today. And we were a little late because I had a customer show up an hour late. You're more than welcome to hang out here. For okay. As long as you need. 
Uh, I would like to get a better look yeah. at the engine yeah. and stuff. Uh, and uh, be easier running down that side. yeah, I'll check that out. I like that door. That's pretty cool how it's curved like that. Do you guys own all this stuff? No. Uh, it's a storage facility. Yeah, it's a family friend. Is any of this other stuff for sale? I, I would assume everything's for sale at the right price. Yeah. There's another bus that's out front. Do you mind if I look at some other stuff? I won't disclose the location yeah. where we're at. Yeah, I, I can't see that that's uh, I didn't film on the way over here, and I didn't film coming in. Perfect. And uh, I never disclose somebody's location. Perfect. Oh, come on. She wants to go look at the engine. Come on. Let's go. It's not that bad. I've, I've done worse. Oh, that's the emergency door right there. The sheet metal on this thing, I wonder if it's aluminum bodied. I bet it is because I don't see any rust on this. I bet you it probably is. It's straight too. Very nice. You know, I got a magnet in the truck. That is aluminum. Yeah, I think the whole thing is. Yeah, that's great. At least the window bar and you'd see it. Boy, can you imagine stripping it down to bare aluminum and polishing it? You just sold off an Airstream. Oh, those are great. And, uh, went through Here's it. a spider. I don't like spiders. I've got to get a look at the back. My people will get mad. If I come all the way out here and do this and don't get a good shot at oh. Yeah, the back glass is in good shape. Curved, it's one of those round, there's a den up there above the left rear window. But uh, this is in really good shape. The sheet metal on this thing. Why don't you do the other side? Well, that, oh, is it latched over there? <laughs> oh, it's a key. Oh. Let me see if I can. Or a screwdriver or something. Yeah, we need to peek in there. This thing's in pretty good shape. What's missing? Something's missing over here. Oh, no, it's not. It's the uh, lid for the water tank. The lid's there, right there. Uh, probably for the bathroom, I would think. This thing's really straight. Oh, well, it's got a little dent right there. Actually, a big dent, but it's not creased or kinked. I would think a guy could straighten that out. I like those little rear windows, too. Oh, that's the bathroom window right there, probably. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Pretty straight, though. I don't know if you guys can see down through there, but this thing is not beat up, and there's no rust. That's a bonus. Joe's got tools. Looks like some kind of odd shaped square or triangle in there, huh? Yeah, it's a square. I'd be willing to bet there's a handle laying inside there somewhere yeah, for that. I don't, I'm not going to be able to fit in there without scratching it out. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not. I wonder if I pushed in on the other side. I don't want a band aid. Is there a catch over here? Maybe I could get that to go in. I wonder if it's a cable set up and individually operated. Boy, I really need to get a peek at that engine. It's just a square. Oh, here we go. He did it. There we are. Uh oh, look at Let's that. Let's go careful with it. Yep, I'll let you handle that. <laughs> That's enough. I don't want to. And do you mind if I leave it like that for right now? Nope, nope. Uh, because what I'll do is when I come back, and I think I am going to end up coming back on this, uh -huh. is I'll bring some WD 40 so we don't Close tweak or break yeah. anything uh, here. 
I'll trade you and give you, you know your tools I think back. I might have some you can spray that would be good. That's what, I always do that if something's been sitting a long time. I oil it up. So there's the engine, folks. Detroit Diesel. Got the big old GM logo right there. They were proud of that. <laughs> and uh, so I guess it was running when it was parked. It was driven over here. And my experience with these old Detroit diesels, uh, you got to be careful about how you wake them up. But if they were running when they parked, you can make them run. That is a big diesel engine right there. Um, I mean... I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get some real close up footage of this because I am not the dieselologist, but I have a lot of viewers that are dieselologists. That's a good thing, uh, Joe, about having 47,000, well, 46 plus thousand subscribers is, uh, it's like one person with a million brains because <laughs> these guys leave me comments and the They'll tell me exactly what engine this is. They'll tell me stories about buses. Sometimes they'll tell me stories about the old truck that we're rescuing. You know what I mean? Oh, they'll be like, yeah, I remember that thing. <laughs> you wanna grab that other side? Yeah. Just slip her to it with you up. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's more gooder, Joe. More Let's leave it there for a second. Oops. Holy cow, look at that this bottom valve cover. Oh yeah. It looks pretty unmolested under here, Joe. I mean, I don't see a bunch of butched wires no, or I... Mickey Mouse stuff. Here's the transaxle right here. Yeah, she's old and crusty and been sitting a while, but man, wouldn't it be beautiful all polished up with all this aluminum bodywork? It'd look like a GMC Airstream <laughs> going down the road. <laughs> Bumper straight, too. That's nice. Well, you could have some fun, Joe, huh, with that uh, that uh, roller thing up front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can put your own destinations <laughs> yeah. on there. <laughs> yeah, this is where I'm going this week. Well, Joe had to go. Boy, I like the, all the trim and everything on this bus. It's got curves and all the right places uh, I can you know I can just envision this all fixed up and I think it would be I think it would be just awesome and uh, I can see all this old aluminum polished up and uh, this would be pretty even with the aluminum polished up and the rest of it painted, it would look really neat. Uh, you can't really get an idea of the front end. How's that front bumper? Front bumper's in nice shape, too. Yeah. I think that's aluminum. Ribbed. Ribbed aluminum. Boy, <laughs> you could get creative with this scroll thing in the front. I guess it just had probably like a clear uh, lens that went over that. Probably a piece of chrome trim, but that would be easy to fabricate. Uh, I like the way the headlights poke out of the curves on the corners. Pretty neat looking old bus. Anyways, folks, we got a big day ahead of us because I got another bus I want to go look at. It's just kind of a field trip day for me and Annabella. You know, we've been working real hard on the property, getting ready for the huge <laughs> truck sellathon palooza out at the Classic Truck Ranch. And, uh, I just needed a break today, and this is what I do for entertainment. Annabelle is not very happy about being in the truck. So we're going to trust her to hang out with us and be good. Hydrate, folks, when it's hot out. All right, come on, sweet. You got to stay with Dad, though, okay? Stay with Dad. Be good. She's going to be all full of those little sticky things that stick to dog hairs. Anna, come on. See, she's already inspecting. Anyway, this caught my eye on the way in. 
I realize it's furrin, but I kind of like some of the furrin vehicles. I just want to know what it is. What is it? Whatever it is, it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, it's just a TC. Who makes the TC? There's the emblem on the horn button. It's got a tachometer in it, so it must be about something. Tachometer, clock. Hmm. It's pretty solid. Look at that, a locking gas cap door. <laughs> It's a Rover, a Rover TC2000. Last registered, oh, holy cow. Last registered in seven and 19. This thing's got a current registration on it. Wonder if someone's just keeping that up, but. What are those holes for down there? They're not rust holes. I wonder if that's for the jack. It is. There's supposed to be a rubber plug there. There's a little rust on the bottom of that fender. Uh, but the other, on the back, there's a rubber plug there. That's probably for the jacks. Anyway, so I thought that was kind of neat. But I saw some other cool stuff. Okay, over here. Over here. We've got an old El Dorado. Uh, and Joe was telling me that He's going to look because a lot of these vehicles might be for sale. But this is probably about a 69, 70-ish Eldorado. Yeah, it's about a 69 or 70. It's got all the original hubcats still on it. I'm not going to go opening up a bunch of doors. Uh, but from what I can see of the interior, it's not torn up, ripped up. Uh, I don't see any cracks in the dash But like I said, I don't want to open up the doors. These vehicles don't belong to me and these people been good enough to give me a green light to check everything out so We'll respect that there went Anna Anna you did that. I wouldn't be under there Anna. Come on Come on Anna truck inspector general. Come on <laughs> Look at that thing boy. She does not play around no fear no fear of that thing. Come on. Come on. Anna, come on. Come on, leave the Cadillac alone. There's something under there because she wants under there real bad. Come on. Anna. Come on. Let's go over here. Uh, don't need to look at that. Don't need to look at that. Don't really need to look at that. Annabella. Anna. Come on, leave the Cadillac alone. Get on over here. There's something cool that I wanted to show you. I am going to take a little peek under the tarp. We're kind of strange out here in Oregon. We're not weird like Portland, but uh, we have fun. And uh, I could tell before I even lifted the corner of the tarp up that that was a Lincoln right there. And I, <laughs> we have this thing in Oregon called the Gambler 500 where you can take any vehicle, but you got to spend less than like 500 bucks on it. And you can t t do this off-road race in it. Uh, check out the Gambler 500. I've been hearing a lot about it. Sounds like something we might want to participate in the future uh, with the classic truck rescue team. But <laughs> it's a Lincoln. And I, I could tell it was a Lincoln just from the shape because I have a 77 Lincoln two-door. We call them Black Angus. Anyway, uh, I noticed the mud tires on this. And I came over and lifted this corner of the tarp up. It's <laughs> got the Gambler 500 uh, logo on the back of it. That's as far as I'm going with that because it's got, got a new cover on it. And uh, I'm sure that's someone's baby. We're not disclosing any locations though. If you see something here that you're interested in, uh, <laughs> Anna's interested in everything. Uh, go to or Email me at rick at classictruckrescue.com. Got a couple of old Lincolns here. Um, I know these are getting popular. Oh, this door's already HR. And no, don't go in there, honey. That's too old. No, Anna. That dog has no fear. No fear. Oh, get out of their car. Come on. Come on, Anna. Come on. Come on. I forgot. That's not nice. But the interior don't look bad on this one. 
Lincoln Suicide Door Lincoln. Probably about a, oh, 65, 66, somewhere in there. I'm not a Lincolnologist, although I do have one. I'm, it doesn't make me a Lincolnologist, and mine's a lot newer than these. Uh, but looks like about the same year, yeah. Same year convertible, that's probably a parts car for this one. But if they don't put a tarp over this one, this one's going to be a parts car for that one. Looks like somebody's gathered up a lot of extra parts. And what's a shame is you see the tarp right there. You know, there's an extra hubcap. There's more hubcaps over there. Uh, air cleaner, it's probably hard to find over there. Somebody took the time to gather up and a bunch of spare chrome trim. And uh, somebody took the time to gather this stuff up. And, and then they put a tarp over it. And the tarp went bad. And somebody threw the tarp in there. Now the whole thing's going to get shot. And it won't take long before the floors are rotted. Boy, I hope somebody does something with this. If you're interested in the Lincolns, let me know. I'll get a hold of the Joe. <laughs> Here's what I wanted to show you. Though. Annabella! Anna! <laughs> There's another Gambler 500 thing on that big Lincoln over there. Is it? Your kitty stinks. Oh, oh. Yeah, people, uh, take your cats to the pet groomer often so that you don't have a smelly kitty. Um, anyway, so look at this. Is that weird? And this one may be too far gone, folks. Uh, but I was intrigued by the shape of it. I don't, it's got to be old. That's got to be early 50s, late 40s right there. But it's a Mack bus. And I was telling Joe, oh, it's a shame that emblem got messed up i bet those are super hard to find look at the dorky headlights on it and the flat front end wow this one was a motorhome at some time i don't want to go in there i'm not going in there there's only so much i'll do for you guys you got to draw the line somewhere <laughs> there's the side door but anyways i thought it was kind of cool look how far back the rear axle is it's right on the back of the bus and I was spying on this bus earlier and I like the shape on the back how it's slanted like that those are uh, those are I think those are KD 517 uh, cab marker lights I've got a collection of those they go, they're factory correct for my 55 to 59 Chevy and GMC trucks and I started scooping those up a long time ago but anyway there's a nice little access hole right here. And this thing's pretty rusty. I just I just thought you guys might like to see it. Uh, but that looks to me like a, a Buick or Oldsmobile 350 V8 in there. I think that's what it is. Buick or Oldsmobile 350 V8. That's what I'm calling that. If I'm wrong, feel free to enlighten me. Because I'm not always right and I don't know everything anyway uh, so there's that Anna come on let's go see if there's anything else well, we got another bus to go look at that I, you guys are gonna love there's truck inspector general stepping out of her box looking at Lincoln's are you having fun on your field trip with dad hmm yeah she's having fun she's feeling a lot better I can tell Okay, so that's it, folks. That's it. We're going to go to our next destination. Come on, Anna. Come on, sweetie. Classic Truck Rescue. Rover TC2000. Interesting. Come on, honey. Anna. Annabella. Oh, she got just coated with these... She got just coated with those green Klingon things. Annabella! But she's going to go right to work on ripping them out. Which means I'm going to have to detail the inside of the truck. She'll get them off of there. And she doesn't eat them. She spits them out. <laughs> Anna! You're silly! She's got them all on her face. How are you going to get the ones on your face? Huh? He's got them all around her eyes. <laughs> I'll be back. 
See you later, old bus. We might be able to help you out. Classic Truck Rescue. Peace out. We'll be back. Did you have fun on your field trip today? Look, she's, when, uh, when we got done at the first stop, she was covered with these things. Yeah. Lay down. It's okay. You don't want those on you. Uh, Anna had a good time on her little field trip today. She got to look at a lot of cool stuff. I forgot about this note. Oh, I wasn't able to film at the second place that I went to. The guy was had a real private place. Uh, he had some cool stuff. And I know that... Uh, I know that... Uh, I've had two guys that have been asking me about a Ford... A late 60s, early 70s Ford crew cab. Four-wheel drive. And this guy had one. Uh, the doors weren't that good on it, but he had a set of perfect doors in the back. It's a 68, 69, or 70, I'll have to check. Red uh, Ford crew cab, four-wheel drive, on a short bed frame. It has uh, the correct bed on the back of it, but it's a long bed, so it needs to be cut down or someone will need to find a short bed for it. But it was in real solid condition. Had one hole about that big in the driver's side floor. Like I said, the doors weren't that great, but it had some perfect, a full set of perfect doors in the back. Um, it's got a 460 in it, runs and drives real good, the guy says. Uh, I looked at it, I wish I could have filmed it. I thought it was a beautiful truck. Uh, if a guy took the time to shorten the bed and put it on the back, it'd be worth having. How was your day? Good. Yeah. How was Jamie, your day? Uh, it was fun. Yeah, we enjoyed our little field trip, and she got to get uh, real dirty, and boy, she crawled under some stuff that I don't, I don't know how she even got under there, but she just dives right into the bushes. This Eldorado, she came, went up to the where the wheels were, and there was a little hole like this, and she scooted in there and went up under the car. Uh, she checked out the bus, and uh, both buses, she had fun. Um, Jamie finished the fire pit. I brought her a bunch of river rock. And she did a really nice job finishing the fire pit. I'll show that to you. Building site's all done. Building site looks good. And uh, going back to work on the property tomorrow. I still want to make my video of the whole inventory. We do need to get rid of a lot of trucks. Uh, and I'm good with that. We're good with that, right? Kind of putting the property... Uh, ahead of everything else we're gonna save the ones that we've that we got specifically for a collection of the 50s work trucks right or do you want me to sell bully no you can't sell, bully. You can't sell Wendell Wendell TGMC any other ones I gotta keep yep Woody Scotty banana rammer four-wheel drive Tonka Scotty? truck yeah the Who's dually Scott? the red dually oh you call him Scotty, Scotty now I I thought he was the pull and be damned. Well, he is. But we went down a road when we went to get this 59 GMC pickup, and it was pull and be damned road. Yeah, so we just called it the pull and be damned truck for a while. Well, but. I called it Scott. <laughs> anyway, I forgot. Uh, Joe, the guy that showed me the 52 GMC bus, uh, I'm making a video. It's um, And I'm going to do this once in a while, where I just go on a little recess trip, locally but find some really cool stuff and share it with you guys uh whoever was looking for that ford crew cab give me an email rick at classic truck rescue.com this was a pretty nice one and i've seen junky ones being sold for fifteen thousand, and this guy does not want that much for it i think he's got a real good price on it i do not discuss prices on in my comment section or on my videos because some people do buy vehicles from me so that they can put a little work into them and sell them so I'm not doing that if you see a truck you're interested in or I mentioned a truck that you're interested in Rick at classic truck also you 
you can go to classictruckrescue.com and we've got the hats and I'll put the stickers on there tonight the Annabella Truck Inspector General stickers and we're putting one on another truck I'll probably I'll try to make that happen in this video matter of fact I'll do it right now um, anyway I got this note uh, Joe the guy that showed me the 52 GMC bus it was his grandpa's bus and his, I asked him to ask his grandpa a little bit about the history of the truck uh, his grandpa purchased it in 1997 from a church it was originally used by Greyhound to go be between Wenatchee Washington and Seattle so that's right in the middle of Washington from pretty much east to west and back uh, by Greyhound after Greyhound uh, got rid of it according to Joe some hippies got a hold of it and they used to go from Seattle to San Francisco and back all the time and it was called the green tortoise uh, he says it turned into a green tortoise and traveled between Seattle and San Francisco uh, the church that that used it the last time it was on the road did a bunch of it work to the engine I did a pretty good job of filming the engine it is does have the Detroit diesel in it that's pretty cool I thought that bus was really neat for some reason it says last year of the leaf springs Night, I, apparently 1952 was the last year Greyhound had their had leaf springs on their buses or whatever but it's been sitting in its current spot since 1990 so almost three decades it's been sitting where I filmed it wow. you're kind of anxious to see it aren't you sure it's pretty cool uh, does it run I don't know uh, my experience with the Detroit diesels though remember the oh, last yeah. one you just pour something dirty the grandpa in the truck. Take it fires right up. <laughs> yeah. Something yeah, they're not real picky, but you got to be careful when you start them. A lot of guys told me, man, you're lucky that thing didn't run away on you. Apparently, if they've been sitting a long time and you fire them up, with, uh, by the way, I know there's a bunch of you guys that know a lot more than I do about Detroit diesels. What do you do when one's been sitting for a long time to start it up where you don't get that runaway thing because I did see one video where some guys fired one up Even that ran away neutral? no the end the engine just fires up and then starts tacking out oh. the RPMs go up and it just goes and then smoke starts coming out and I saw a video where one of them just started spitting stuff and I don't want to be that guy we don't want to make that video on classic truck rescue but I have 46,000 people who helped me think a little smarter so feel free to let me know and I do appreciate your tips and the help that our viewers do give us if you were looking for that uh, Ford crew cab truck email me I know you've already got my email address uh, and it, the, the main guy I wanted to get one for I think he was doing some kind of a animal rescue or something and he wanted it for his animal rescue business and I found one but it was uh it was just junk basically and uh it was years from ever running this one runs and drives all you got to do is shorten that bed up put it on there change the doors paint it you're done uh it's a, it's pretty nice i wish i had the money to buy it but i'm not buying trucks right now i'm selling trucks so uh we'll go put this and oh by the way if you want to Annabella Truck Inspector General sticker. From now on, you can just go to classictruckrescue.com. I'm going to have pictures of these on there and all the information on uh, the hats. By the way, this is a new style hat. Jamie's got one. I think they're pretty cool. Just in time for the 4th of July. And these are, I had some guys that say they have ponytails and they didn't like the other hats because they didn't have the ponytail hole in the back. Uh, but I'm trying to stay away from the plastic things that you push together. Yeah, these are cool. It's got a cloth. It's got thing. Velcro you and put your trash knot through the back. Trash of it. knot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>
stamped address. Rick, can oh, you send instructions on how to get one of these stickers? Anyway, this is for Michael Beatty. We're putting this on his 1954 GMC truck that we rescued for him. Actually, that he rescued. We just went and got it for him. And uh, this is the second truck ever to get one of these stickers. The first one was Bobby Hernandez's 1957 GMC. We haven't even put one of these on one of our trucks yet. That one went. That one went on there nice. We washed the window on this one. Don't get mad, Bobby. We'll give you a free one when you get here. We're putting that on a 54 GMC five window deluxe cab truck. First one on a five window. What was that? You sipping your coffee. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, do it again. Take a drink. <laughs> See? <laughs> I don't do that. You just did. I'm cutting all this. No, leave it in there. <laughs> Take another drink. 